And then what you would do is after you pick up those blueberries and the kids bring them home, you boil the blueberries with your sugar and then you could put it in a jelly strainer. So this is a handmade jelly strainer and it would actually take almost an entire day to get the juice out of the berries using gravity. But also this one conveniently had this so no flies or insects would get in here. <laughs> Hi, my name is Maureen Peters and I'm the Curator of History at The Rooms and today I'm gonna to take you inside the vault. Come on in. And here we have something that you don't see very much anymore, and that is a jelly table. We expect this is about from the 1920s, based on the material and the story that we received from the family, and also the fabric and the fabric style. So I also wanted to include in this, this is memory art by an artist by the name of Josephine Murphy. Josephine grew up here in St. John's, but her father was given a land grant to start a farm out in the Ghouls. So Josephine, in her retirement, she painted over 30 pieces of what we call memory art. And it's the memory of her and her siblings growing up in the ghouls. Picking, and this one here is called Picking Blueberries. This would have been in her childhood, which would have been 1930s. But the clothes is a bit more modern in it, and we find that quite often in uh, memory art that the clothes doesn't kind of match the time period. So here we have the picking of the berries, and here we have the production of the berries. So after you pick your blueberries, or your berries, your raspberries, your blackberries, cartridge berries, and you boil them up with your sugar, and you put a bowl underneath, and you let the whole thing drain down into a bowl, and it leaves you with like a really clear uh, juice. Then you then have to take back to the stove and add gelatin to. It would be like a, a almost like a jello or something, but you also spread it on toast. You can use it for different types of desserts, or do any number of things with a jelly, which is different from the jam because it doesn't have the seeds. And this is a bit more labor intensive and a bit more fancy. You have jelly over jam, <laughs> but this is what you would do in order to make it. You know, picking berries was incredibly important. You had to pick enough berries to get you through the entire winter. And you had sent the kids out to pick all the berries and bring them home to then be processed and preserved in order to get you through the entire winter. It was a very important part of the seasonal round in uh, life in Newfoundland Labrador. Mm -hmm. 